Hey guys, Dark Manok here. I've spoken to many of you on Twitter, and what most of you want to know is the very basics of the iPhone SDK. So I thought I'd teach you the most basic things in the iPhone SDK today. So um, many of you can start developing your own iPhone applications right away. So here we are open up Xcode. Wait for that to load. And once it's loaded, we go into File, New Project. Here we have many templates for our projects, navigation-based, OpenGLES, tab bar, utility, view-based, and window-based. What you'll want for most applications is a view-based application. So we'll choose that. And I'll just, I'll just call it Basics, because this is the very basic things in the iPhone SDK. So I'll call it Basics. And as you can see here, we have a very nice UI for uh, developing applications. It's very a very nice SDK. Here, our classes folder, as you can see, is where we have all our class files. Now, the .h files are header files, and the .m files are implementation files. The code for all your applications will be in the .m, in the implementation file, and the declarations will be in the .h, the header files. And in the resources here is where our, our resources are stored, including our views. The basics view controller will be loaded into the main window. So now that we know this, I can just go ahead and open up our basics view controller dot nib. We'll come in here. I'll just drag a rounded rect button in here and I'll just size it up nicely. So now I'll just call it show alert. If I just save that for a second and hide it, we are coming to our basic view controller, and down here, we will want to make a new IB action. This is just, we will connect this action to our button, so when the button is pressed, it will also, it will trigger this code. So I, I'll just call it show alert, and then in our implementation file here, the same the implementation file for that declaration here we can go ahead and make an IB action show alert which is what we called it it is yeah it is what we called it and then I'll just you do a new UI alert view so I'll just scroll in here and then I'll just call it alert and then equals Two no two brackets, UI alert view because it's the UI UI alert view, alloc. This allocates the memory needed for the alert view. Then we want to do init with title. Just do alert shown, and then a message. We'll just do dark malloc has a YouTube channel. You can obviously do anything you want here. I'm just doing this just to show you. We'll set the delegate to ourself. This means we can control the UI alert view from within our current implementation file. Cancel button title. I'll just do yes, he has. And then other button titles nil because we don't want any other button titles and then close the two brackets off and then close that so then I'll come over here and then in this uh oh, sorry I put one too many uh end brackets there but then we do uh alert show this will show our alert and if you notice, after every statement we do, we put a, a semicolon. This just ends the statement. So then if I, I'll zoom back in. Uh, then we do alert release. This releases the memory that we allocated in the UI alert view alloc. So the, the memory allocated in this, by making this alert, by allocating the memory for that, it's released just after the alert is shown. This helps to keep our iPhone applications uh, 
low memory intensive to make it a lot faster. And uh, so now, basically, all we have to do, if I reopen the basic view controller, and then as you can see down, we just click on on the status bar, and then down here in files owner, select that, and then come over to our basic view controller into our inspector here, and then click on the uh, the connections tab here. Received actions, as you can see there, the received actions tab. You'll have this nicer uh, like little picker, so you'll just drag that across to the alert to the show alert button. Select that and do a touch up inside. This will trigger the code that we set in this IB action here when the user selects this button inside of the button. So if I just do a a save there, so I save it and quit out of that. If we build and run this, you can see, yes, we want to save all. You can see it's building down here, compiling and installing basics in the simulator and basics launched. So here we have a nice iPhone simulator. And there we have a button that we set up in the interface builder. So if we select that, alert shown, Dark Malloc has a YouTube channel. Yes, he has. And obviously this is the code that we set up. There, in it with title and message, Dark Malloc has a YouTube channel. And obviously, once again, yes, he has. So, I hope you enjoyed this iPhone SDK tutorial. There's many more to come. Please rate five stars and uh, obviously subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And leave more iPhone SDK tutorial ideas in the comments below. I'll be sure to get back to you, or just tweet them to me, at Dark Monarch. I prefer you leave a comment on YouTube, as it allows me to see them easier. So, yeah, thanks for watching, see you in my next tutorial.